Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee here back again with another 3D printing video. Um, I had a lot of problems with the ANET A8 motherboard stuff. And um, I think I actually have two that actually really work. I think it was just my thermistor was acting up and I'm, like a wire was kind of loose in it or something like that. It wasn't allowing my stuff to heat up. So I went through the whole trouble. I was going, going to make me a complete 3D printer from scratch, which I'm still going to do. But I had to use some of the parts from that that I was gonna that I was gonna make from that for the A net to keep the A net working. So I got a ramps kit. It was like twenty twenty five dollars. This is the board that came with it. I got it all set up. It's all wired through. You can see I got different uh, end stops and stuff like that. But um, what I'm trying to show you today is how I'm calibrating the well centering my 3d print there's a guy that has a forum about how to center your prints and you could do i heard about like your end stops being able to auto tune your you know centering of your um bed and all that or like your printer and he I don't know. I guess he didn't want to do it. I don't. I don't really like all this auto tune stuff, really, to be honest, because I'm not completely familiar with it. So I rather deal with numbers than to actually auto tune and all that stuff. So if you're trying to just do it yourself and you know a little bit about about the Merlin, you know the Merlin um, program that's running all the Arduino and all that stuff, um, you're going to go to your X. Y and Z access for I mean it's X yeah it's X Y and Z access for like where your bed is and how big the bed is and all that stuff you have to go in there and tweak the numbers and how you do that is however you're starting to print your bed you're going to I mean however you start to print um, you're going to what I did was use some you know regular tape that you use for when you print and then I just uh, drew lines as you can see from each corner to make the X for the center and then top and bottom you know I just basically made sure I got my point for my center now you can see my um, printing is off by a good little margin I don't know hold on let me see if I could brighten this even more hold on nope okay that's as bright as it'll go anyway um you can see down here that uh, my bed is a little off. You can see that the Y axis that goes top to bottom is um, off by a good little amount, and my X axis that goes left and right is off by a little bit amount too. And but this is way better because when I was starting to print with this system, this brand new motherboard and all that. It was printing all the way off my bed, like over here area, and it was like jamming up the motors and everything. I had to keep shutting it off. So I'm really close to finishing it, and I'm not sure why it's doing this. Maybe I have to calibrate the motors. I want to say maybe my motors need to be calibrated a little bit. But I'm not really liking this right here. You see how it kind of warped a little bit. I don't know if that was a piece. I don't know if that was a piece of filament that got stuck over here or not, but it's messed up right there. And you can see this little piece right here I'm not really liking. I don't think that had anything to do with this part. It's just this. I don't know why this is happening. Maybe that won't do it when I am when I get everything set up right. I'm, I'm not sure. But for right now, everything else on it is looking really, really sharp and clear. So, But um, as you can see, I need to tweak this. So... How I'm doing that is I got me a uh, measuring tool here. It's a caliper, me measuring caliper. Have it set for millimeters because that's how Marlin works. It doesn't use inches. And I just measure my line from the center of this white line right here. As you can see, the inside has a little line in it, like right dead center. And if you want to know, these measurements right here, the these right here, the each line space is five millimeters wide. So I can even show you that real quick. Uh, let me see. 
or was it 10? I think it may be 10. It's hard to remember because the he I didn't all I did was copy this guy's um print that he put on Thingiverse. Yeah, it's about it's about 10. It says 9.81, but I'm not really using all that. I'm just using from this center line to my line right here. So when I basically measure this axis right here was 3.26 that I'm off. So I'm going to show you that right now. Hold on. Okay. 3.26. And you can kind of see it's dead center on the line on each line. So 3.26 over from my Y. I mean my X. And then my Y axis. I would say that kind of looks like one millimeter. Just give me a sec while I try to measure that. It's hard to see when you're looking like down at it. So just give me a sec while I try to set that up. It looks about two millimeters. Yeah, I'm going to go with two millimeters. That's two millimeters off from my Y up and down. And then the X is 3.226 millimeters from my X. And that's positive because going away from it on mine is positive. I don't know if that has anything to do with how my motors are set up because I heard that going towards the stop is supposed to be positive and away from it is supposed to be negative. Well, mine, it's you just have to tinker with your stuff. You'll find out what what is what. But um, so basically, from away from the the end stop down there on my Y, as you can see, the end stop all the way over there. So from there all the way over here is positive. So this will be I have to add two more millimeters to this to center this part, and then from this end stop all the way over is pause. Uh, I don't know if that was positive or negative. Now I can't remember. I'm going to just do positive for both because it seemed like it was helping to move it. So maybe, yeah, because this one's opposite. My my motor on this one is switched. The polarity is switched backwards. So this would be positive too. So both of them are going to be positive on my end, not on yours. Um, but anyway, so basically I'm just going to add two millimeters forward and... 3.26 millimeters you would do it backwards but I would do it forward if this happened to you so anyway I'm gonna pull this off of here just um, probably redo the whole tape thing because this tape is sitting on top of my build tech which is brand new I just wanted to use the tape to help draw the line so I know exactly where my center is at and I'm not gonna be using it again because I don't need this. I'm not saving this for anything. This is just pretty much trash. I'm just using it to set up my how, where to center my print set because I want to make sure that it's dead center for whenever I print something. But um, yeah, I'm gonna redo this tape and then cut the video back in when I'm done with it so you guys can see it. And then I'm just going to move everything over about you know whatever my numbers were. So two millimeters for the y and then two point it's gonna be two point actually it's just gonna be two two million i mean three point two six for the x but yeah so let me cut the video out get this all set back up i'm using that ruler to met that ruler over over there to measure my all I'm doing is using each corner from my screw holes for the mounting for the um, bed leveling, and then that's how I, that's how I find my center is drawing X's through it, and then you know drawing the cross through the middle and halfway you know basically the middle right there and then halfway up. So just give me a sec.